Welcome to Daikon's uh, 20 Years On on Bent TV. Joining me today is Tanil from Joy. Hi, Hi Tanil and Joe from Dykes on Bikes. Hello. And I'm Leanne from Switchboard. Um, before we get going, maybe we should let people who don't know know what Joy is, Tanil. Uh, so Joy 94.9 is the uh, gay and lesbian <coughs> or LGBTI uh, community radio station here in Melbourne. And Joe, Dykes on Bikes? Uh, Dykes on Bikes Melbourne is a motorcycle group uh, for lesbians and you might have seen us uh, at the start of Pride March uh, every year. Fantastic. And Switchboard is the LGBTI volunteer <coughs> phone-based um, counselling service across Victoria. So today we're going to talk about the lesbian community. Mm. So we've called the show Dykons 20 Years On because Dykons was a bit of a term 20 years ago. Tanil, you said in the 80s it was sort of at uni. Yeah, we talked about early nineties, absolutely. Yeah, how did that how did that term sort of come about? Uh, so I think um, we started looking at sort of feminist uh, critical theory and then les lesbian critical theory, and then this idea of dicon sort of came about. So it was, a, I guess, a label that we could put onto these um, really identifiable and prominent lesbians. So the dykes who became who are icons yeah. for us. So Abs dicons, dicons, yeah. the Katie Langs and the Martinas. And yeah, the, absolutely. I'm sure there were heaps there. So I guess at that time. Um, there was pretty strong lesbian community. Um, yeah. Do you reckon it's still as strong now in 2016, Joe? Uh, I think definitely times have changed. I know for me, uh, I grew up in a, a smaller town um, where there weren't as many dykes or lesbians mm -hmm. or whatever you want to label you want to call yourself. Um, but definitely has changed through my experience. The more people I've gotten to know and gotten out of my small town, I yeah. think times have changed definitely. Yeah, in what way? What way do you reckon? Um, I think there's there's uh, a different level of acceptance or tolerance um, mm -hmm. since I came out, I suppose, 20 odd years ago. Um, and there's definitely seems to be a lot more people around um, that I've met and there seems to be a lot more areas and spaces and events and everything and um, it just seems a bit more common yeah, to me yeah, now. Yeah. 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 Popular culture is kind of <coughs> full of more representation as well yeah. so and we all know Ellen DeGeneres coming out on yeah. on television kind of was this huge thing that kind of gave us this ultimate dyke on yeah, um, yeah. and and we're seeing more and more of that now so yeah, yeah it is different. And do you think it's the same for younger women? I think I think the challenge with younger women is that that label. Mm. So um, I kind of came out at a time where it was the, the term was lesbian. The secondary term or the term that was a little bit more hardcore was dyke. Mm -hmm. um, and now I think there's this kind of almost aversion to using those words. So we we see things like you know. Uh, gender fluid or uh, pansexual, bisexual or um, genderqueer yeah, yeah, and just queer. Yeah, queer. So we're seeing these different terms that I guess for, for younger women or for people who use those terms mean a different thing. Yeah. Um, whereas for me coming out claiming that um, label or that identity as lesbian actually kind of meant very much lesbian. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, it came out at the feminist sort of times yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> when I first started out going to you know dances, at, the separatist lesbian dances at Melbourne Uni, mm. and um, you wouldn't call yourself anything no. a lesbian, like you know, if mm. there was a hint that even you know you've been anywhere near a man, you sort of weren't allowed. <laughs> yeah, well, the, the whole label yeah. lesbian and all of those sorts of terms. That's yeah. right. Mm. That's right. Because I know now as I'm sort of getting older, a lot of my friends um, who perhaps went to bars and spaces like that 20, 30 years ago now sort of stay in the suburbs. Mm. So they're not as visible. So it's sort of interesting that that change, you know, mm. Joe's saying there are more people out and around. But I reckon there's a lot of other people who are quite invisible as well. Mm. So. I think there's a difference too in the generations. Yeah. Like, I know myself um, coming out was a big thing. So you had to act actively go out and seek these spaces yeah. to find people, um, you know, find your crew. And now there's a lot more spaces and a lot more events that it's a lot easier to find people and to mm. connect with. Yeah. Um, but I think also too, like just going out, all the time you tend to do that just being younger anyway yeah. um, and having a good time and you connect with people then but as you get older you know life changes and you just so want to stay home energy. and that's right that's and right. you know right. mix within your own little crowd yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think that what you're looking to connect around is different as well so when you're younger you're just looking for people <coughs> who like to do the same things yeah. as you and if you're going out all the time it's that's the same thing yeah, yeah. yeah. whereas as you get a bit older you know your interests probably change a bit and yeah, yeah it's not necessarily about that the sexuality or whatever it's about really 
who's interested Living in what you're doing. And, yeah. yeah. Older and wiser and getting more comfortable yeah. with who you actually are. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So are you finding with Dykes on Bikes that that's changed over the years? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Um, you know, we, we talk about Dykes on Bikes, but there's a lot of people in our club that have many different labels and a lot that don't. Like mm -hmm. at the end of the day, we're just a a mixed bunch of women from all different backgrounds that don't really identify with any kind of label. We mm -hmm. just are women who love women and motorbikes. Yeah, right. Yeah. So you don't have any sort of test that people have to go <laughs> through to join the club? No, no kind of test. Oh. No, there's no initiation. Oh, nothing oh, nothing, nothing we can end. talk about anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> nothing no, to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, definitely. Like, there's a whole different... Uh, mix of women in our club and mm. there's yeah it's definitely changed over the years. So your definition of dyke does that um, is that based around gender as well or is it anyone who look to be honest with you I the the whole word dyke I think it's just to me um, it's just the name of our club. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I and don't. it rhymes with bike. How good's that? <laughs> And it's always fantastic to see you going down Fitzroy Street at the, at the beginning of the, yeah. the parade. Yeah, and you hear it's the, awesome. Those engines start up. So I think it's really interesting to see how, how the community develops and it'll be interesting in another 10 or 20 years Absolutely. to mm. see if that we still call it that, even if sort of LGBTI mm. is still something that we... We see even, that evolution all the time, yeah. Yeah, mm. but that's, that's right. Mm. So with Joy, have you seen a change in the sort of programming things around... Um, <gasps> lesbians and, and young women? I think what we're seeing is a lot more lesbians or people identifying as lesbians or dykes um, being uh, represented in more programming. Mm -hmm. um, what we're seeing from a programming perspective is more women's specific programming. So um, we've got um, our, a, fan, a fantastic feminist show um, on Monday nights now as well. So there's a broader range of the women's experience being represented and, and women kind of talking about that. Chicks talking footy and all sorts of different things. So not necessarily lesbian, but we've got a lot more lesbians. Yeah. So I think we're up to 35 or 36 percent lesbian representation, which is fantastic. Which is fantastic. Mm. It's the highest it's been for a long Absolutely. time. Absolutely. And very, say. very deliberate to drive that. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. so the good news is Dicon's 20 years on, we're still here. So yeah. <laughs> you're watching Bent TV. Thanks to Neil. Thanks, Joe.